Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about using comments in Google Docs. Comments are a great way of giving feedback and information to your colleagues, your peers or to students. Using comments is quite simple. When you're in Google Docs you can select a passage or some text and when you do so you see the comment icon appear here to add comments. You also have the option to click on the add comment icon in the toolbar or even go under the insert menu to add comment and here you can see the keyboard shortcut. I find the icon here a bit quicker so if I click on here then I can leave a comment. So I could say please review this. Once I've done my comment I can click comment and then it's there for my information. Now obviously other people have got access to this but actually if I wanted them to review my comments specifically I want to direct comment them. So I'm going to select this paragraph and when I do this, what I do is I put the plus icon and then that brings me up a list of people. You can put anyone in you want, but primarily it will bring up people who already have access to this document. So if I do that, then I can say, please review this. So this will email them and notify them that I've made a comment with their name. If I want to as well, I can click the assign to trust student. I find this tool is really good if you're, for example, having an agenda and you want to assign certain tasks to individuals in their agenda and you can use that tool there. But I'm going to click comment and they will be emailed about that. The other thing to be aware of is when you're doing comments you can add other information. So for example if I had a website, I'm going to just use this one, I'm going to click my add comment and again I'm going to click plus, choose my student, find more info at this website and so I've added that in if I comment then you can see the link is live within the comments so that's easy for them to access so I can see all my different comments here when we've done with a comment you can see the tick box and I can then mark that as resolved so if I click that there and that disappears other options I get under more options with the three dots I can edit delete or get a link to this comment what will often happen with comments as well is that when someone comes to review it, they want to hit a reply. And so when doing this, you can get a real back and forth of dialogue in your document. So I'm going to mark that as resolved. If you do resolve something accidentally or if your student resolves something without actually actioning the point, you can click on the open comment history. When you do so, you can see all the comments that have been resolved. This is also really helpful to show the journey of a document and to see how it's evolved over time and how you as a teacher have been inputting into that document. So once you are happy to reopen, you can click reopen and then the comment will reappear here. And you can see it was reopened. So hopefully this has been helpful in showing you how you can use comments to effectively communicate and give feedback in Google Docs.